Welcome back to another episode of Michael Extremes. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Michael Luck, and today we're coming back at you with more RPG, ARPG goodness, continuing off in the wonderful world of Torchlight 3. Uh, now, we are currently in what appears to be, uh, unless more maps get tacked on, the third third of the, like, there's, there's just like a, an alpaca there, uh, the third <laughs> third of the story. We might finish the story tonight. We will see. Um, now, just like any ARPG, I'm sure there's an end game, like some repeatable content, like Diablo 3 and its greater rift system, or Path of X on its map system, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I might try those things out and dabble in them briefly. We will see. But my main goal uh, with this is to uh, throw trains, have fun, and beat the primary story. So, uh, currently, our quest is to find an astral door in Squawclaw's Squ Squ Perch, um, that was, okay. And, uh, yeah. So we're gonna get the train out and get, uh, there was already an explosion. So, uh, have you, I haven't been here in a couple of weeks. Have you stomped Guild Wars 2? I've dev, I've lowered the amount of time I'm playing it, for sure. Um, I streamed Guild Wars 2 every single day for two to three years. And I love Guild Wars 2. I have, I don't suddenly love Guild Wars 2 less, but I admit I'm a bit burned out on it. Um, I have... <laughs> Hi! Thank you uh, for that. Appreciate you. Much love. Uh, uh, what year is it? Um, Guild Wars 2. Okay, so I've done everything in Guild Wars 2. I've done everything in Guild Wars 2, so I, you know, I, I, I kind of burn out. Um, now, I, months, luck, I'm still making uh, many YouTube videos related to Guild Wars 2. I still have a lot of content in the backlog. I'm still playing Guild Wars 2 on uh, one, one to two days a week, but not seven days a week anymore. And that has allowed me the freedom to do a lot more uh, variety games. Uh, just to show it here for a second. These are the variety games I played just in April. We beat Overlord, Dungeons 2, uh, Amnesia Rebirth, with Living World Season 1 of Guild Wars 2, uh, my first Warhammer game, Inquisitor Martyr 40k, Tales of Iron, uh, A Game of Winter, the DLC for Dungeons 2. We are currently in the middle of AI, The Insomnium Files, Torchlight 3, and Celasta's Lost Valley DLC. Um, so, you know, still making Guild Wars 2 content, but trying a lot of other new things at the same time. Did you make a human-female meta fashion? Everything that mattered. <laughs> Everything that mattered. Here's another month of prime money for our favorite international internet superstar celebrity potato. Let's see that muck train muck luck eat choo choo. You forgot sensation, but, uh, I, I respect the attempt. Look at those numbers. Oh my god. Well, if any of you are seeing this for the first time, we're playing a class called the Railmaster. He's got a pet train, you can see it following me. And I also have a skill called Ghost Train, and I literally throw a ghost train at people. It's wonderful. You get to, you can customize the pet train. Right now, mine has a flamethrower, a shotgun, and like a taser type thing on it. Uh, but yeah. It's, a, it's like an invulnerable pet that does a bit of damage and has a bunch of cooldowns. And then I've also got an artifact that uh, summons poison spiders, which you can see. So it's kind of like a spin-off of a pet build. And this guy is like a mini boss, so I'm gonna park the train right on top of him just to keep pushing damage. My strongest skill just became available, but I don't want to use it on this because he's almost dead. Okay. Uh, I wish we were at least back EOD was like this class. Honestly, I'm using the same controls for, uh, EOD, uh, Engineer Mechanist as I am for this train. So, it feels very much like I'm playing that. I just rebound the same keys. Oh, a new arrival. Welcome, new arrival. Hello! But yeah, the plan for today... Um, oh, I forgot to brag about the day's accomplishments, chat. We, 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 have, we have some good stuff happening. Hang on a second. Does this game pause? This game does not pause. We need to, we need to kill this guy. All right. So today, uh, Joe can DM, uh, Beansy, beans. if you ever beans, DM beans, me anything, I promise I'll see it at the end of the stream. I don't, I don't want to stop everything to look at DMs uh, every day. Uh, what was it? Oh, so many of you know on, uh, YouTube slash Twitter, I made a, a video that was basically like, let's get everybody Guild Wars 2 Path of Fire. 
Um, this was this was it right here. And essentially, people that have Amazon Prime got uh, coupons sent to them. They have 50% off Path of Fire. And I'm basically taking those coupons, finding people who need them, and handing them back out. And I'm so... Dude, this is so cool. This is one of the biggest things I've just like... This is one of my better off-the-cuff ideas. So far, I have been DM'd 755 codes. I've got to make a bot for this next time, chat. I have got 755 DMs from people. And then we have found people who needed 303 of them. So we have, so I know 303 individuals that bought Path of Fire with the codes that we got them. So that's pretty freaking cool. That is pretty freaking cool. Uh, someone said, do you think Guild Wars 2 shorts are worth making? Um, when you say shorts, do you mean like YouTube shorts or like the little minis that I have been making? Because, like, the, the minis that I've been... I call, I call them minis. I named them that. But they're not, by definition, YouTube shorts. So I just want to understand what to... Uh, how to answer that question. Can I get a code and a coffee, please? Thank you. Uh, I can get you one of the two of those things. Uh, I mean, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Um... When you say worth it, like Instagram and TikTok, you're not going to make any money. YouTube shorts, like all shorts on YouTube, make the tiniest, tiniest amount of money. Um, Ludwig has a cool video on this. Or Ludwig, uh, you know, Ludwig has a short that got over a million views. And it got like $100 or something. It was some really, really small number for 100 views. Uh, it was a, it was a crazy small number and then like he showed another video of his with a million views and you know It had earned thousands of dollars. It was you know very very different um, But as far as the oh, this thing just will not die. Whoa, what? That thing died and it portaled me into a new area What is this? It's like a boss. Is this like a treasure goblin type thing? Okay. This is new. All right, I guess we'll use the uh, super skill now. Um, I got a plane to catch right Australia. Do you want any Vegemite? You know, I've never had it. Maybe I should try it. I'm not sure if I want it or not. All right, we've almost killed most of the trash, but the big boss thing is still fine. Strong arm the Vultura Bandit. Uh, I don't mean Cash Azure, more like Reach. TikTok has huge reach, and Insta so I myself have almost no experience on TikTok and Instagram. But depending on what you're making, like if you're just you know, just, just trying to make, uh, like, if you make something that a lot of people can understand, then, uh, you know, like a, a humor, comedy, you know, music, things like that. Copper. Copper, not copper. <laughs> if you make something like those, uh, then you can absolutely get, like, a huge reach on TikTok. I've never seen a Guild Wars 2 content creator have much success with Guild Wars 2 content on Instagram and TikTok yet. It's not to say it's impossible, but it's just, you know, Guild Wars 2 is very niche. And if they don't play Guild Wars 2, most Guild Wars 2 clips they don't understand, so... Yeah. I, I personally, like, as a full-time, you know, I do this for a living content creator, I just felt like it wasn't worth my time to devote any, you know, because, you know, time is a resource and I use all of mine up each day. Uh, I was I felt like it wasn't worth it to me to put any time into those, those avenues. Uh, on TikTok, if you're lucky and bob your head while well, you get a few, make a few millions. Yeah, well, on TikTok, though, you get... Uh, you, you can get like a bunch a bunch of views and stuff like that. Yeah But like if you just have like one video pop off and people follow you for that one video They're gonna expect more content like what that one video was Yep, 
Got this thing down to 20%. I've only had to use a couple of healing potions. Uh, air used to be free at gas stations, now it costs two fifty. You do, do you know why inflation? Okay, hang on a sec. This is like too quiet. Okay, an orange item. I'll take it. Your potato filter on TikTok has immense potential. I saw other potatoes. They don't have your facial movements range. Oh, thank you. Why did the bot not read that? Uh, I don't know why. I'm not sure why. What did you do? What did you do? Oh, thank you for the sub. Muggle and Douglas, thought it'd be original Death Squad, the fourth, the Sir Johnson, the third. Welcomes you, Nilikazite, and Fubo42, and Lissy Links to the lab. Hope you enjoy your stay entertainments on the way. Crank up the speakers, don't touch the speakers, giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mm. Air used to be free at the gas station. Now it oh, there we go. It's just really laggy. Zero. You want to know why? Inflation. Hmm. That's a weird hat. I'm gonna try it out. It's a cat with a sweater. I think I've already got one of those. One design unlocked? What, 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 what? Again, I still, I, I, I don't know if crafting in this game is just like ultra end game, because I still haven't figured out how to do crafting in this. Uh, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. We'll give that to the pet. Okay. Let's see. How do I get out of here? Oh, there's a portal down here. Scavenger's Trail. Yes, leave. Alright, so this whole thing was just like a bonus dungeon. What's the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. A new arrival. I was a real stickler. Always follow the rules. I tried to convince him to join me here doing mercenary work. We could have been a team. But he was determined to join the Empire. He always wanted to make captain. Well, he made it. He made it and died a captain. Now the Empire has pushed all the Merc companies out of business. So the only paying work is Imperium. It's humiliating. Well, turns out there's plenty of opportunities if you know where to look. What the heck? The Never have signed my checks now. They really know how to make a guy feel appreciated. And hey, if you survive this fight, who knows? We might let you join us. For now, I'm heading down to visit Echo Landing. Oh, here it's gorgeous. Ah. So quiet. Yeah, um, we've discussed this before, but this game is missing a few uh, needed features. One is the ability to turn up dialogue or activate subtitles. There's neither of those. You also can't adjust mouse sensitivity. So we have to be really quiet when they talk. Um... Weird question, but how many Guild Wars 2 accounts can you create without getting any account problems? What do you mean? I mean, Mighty Teapot has like 70 accounts. So you can have as many accounts as you want. Like, they don't have a rule against having many account multiple accounts. They are not bothered. Oh, a new arrival. Welcome, new arrival. Hello. Oh my gosh. Stop spinning. Can I dive in this pool? It deep ends. Deep ends? Oh my gosh. Where's my train? I lost my train there for a minute. Man, this reminds me of Illidan with the lasers. How do I... Let's see. Do I, do I just keep fighting the ants? 
Sir, okay, they, okay, she just came down. I was not sure what I needed to be hitting there. Ow. Uh, spin to win is like playing PoE Cyclone. Uh, I'm mainly using it as an escape move because it goes through uh, monsters. I asked my dog what's 2 minus 2. He said nothing. Oh, I just got it. Dumb joke, dumb joke. Alright, so I think I just have to kite while I wait on her to get back down from that pedestal. Call an illegally parked frog, Toad. <laughs> Is tonight joke night? Wasn't expecting any of this. Is she flying up to the pillars again? Yep. What do you get if you cross an angry sheep with a moody cow? An animal that's in a bar ah 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 mood. <laughs> that was only funny because the stupid TTS. At the beginning, I thought this thing was jumping onto those pillars every 25%, but now I think it's based on time. There we go. A choker. Hmm, is there anything? Okay, yeah, there's something else here. Here we go. What do we got? Ferret thing, dasher. What's the shortest IT joke? It works. Oh. Can a kangaroo jump higher than the Empire State Building? Of course. Buildings can't jump. 11% <laughs> faster cooldown of pet's abilities, 27% chance to pet to block. Current one has less defense, but has immunity to electric damage. Alright, we're gonna keep the current one. We just found an item called Little General. Legendary Focus. When Relic Energy reaches maximum, gain Graze Grace, gaining 25% damage and reducing incoming damage by 25% for 8 seconds. Part of the Arctic Armaments set. Did I have something from Arctic Armaments? No, I've got Winter Weave. I've got Arc Powered. 15% um, Endurance Regen. Which is faster, hot Shut or up. cold? I Hot, am because you going can catch to, a cold. I am going to raise the price for text to speech as soon as I remember how to do that. Oh my god. So many interruptions. You're ruining my immersion. I haven't touched this setting in actual years. Ah. What is it? Is it tipping? I may have to figure that. No, that's not it. That's not it. Fudge. I'll have to look it up later. 
You guys are going too crazy. Uh, little General Relic Energy reaches maximum gain to Graze Graze, doing 25% damage and reducing the damage in 8 seconds. That would completely change your gameplay style. So this is an offhand item, and whenever your energy bar hits max, you get a massive buff for 8 seconds, encouraging you to let the bar occasionally hit maximum. That's the thing. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, so we've done that, and now we need to go to Echo Landing. Good evening, Monk. How are you doing? New schedule trading you well. Oh, yeah. Uh, my schedule's being getting flipped upside down constantly. Dear hero, you've returned. The Voltura attacked the town, and it was none other than that rogue Kenick leading the charge. They've abducted dearest Hicks, and some townsfolk, too. Have you not accounted for inflation for bits over the years? Speak to Mayor Bolton. He'll know how best to proceed. No. Hold on a sec, guys. Sorry, hold on. This is actually really getting under my skin. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Oh, I think I'm on the right track. How do I... Variations. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with the settings a lot more after stream. For now, I've set it to fi 500 bits, up from 100. Just because I, I I want to focus on this right now. Uh, what did he say? I didn't get to hear any of it. Dear hero, you've returned. The vulture attacked the town, and it was none other than that rogue Kenick leading the charge. They've abducted Dearest Hicks and some townsfolk too. Misfortunes besiege us at every turn. A new plan is in order. Speak to Mayor Bolton, who will know how best to proceed. Okay, where's the mayor? That was the robot guy, right? Uh, to the rescue. We're all shaken up, but now is no time to falter. Pass through the Volterra village to... Okay, he was talking. It's just quiet. I wonder if he was in Torchlight 2. Torchlight 2 had a lot of robots, uh, but I don't remember them because it's been too long. Okay, go to the Vultura Village. Um, before I do that, do I need to sell stuff? Yes, Pet Cemetery is full. I do need to sell stuff. Hi there. Fancy it will be here. Oh, you've got some stuff to sell. Okay, uh, no Guild Wars 2 tonight, I just joined. What's up, Dan? Nope, uh, I'll be on Guild Wars 2 for a little bit tomorrow before, uh, there's a sponsored event I'm doing for Raid. I'm gonna be giving out up to, uh, up to $200 worth of goodies for Guild Wars 2 and also, uh, Steam gift cards, as well as a bunch of merch. People are going crazy for the underoos. Muck broke sub TTS. I did not touch sub TTS. Uh, it's because Sassy Penguin has a dirty name. Sassy, thank you for the resub. Muckle Douglas, well thought of you, Reginald Esquire, well, the fourth. This is Johnson Vance, the third, because you, Sassy, back to the lab. Hope you enjoy all saying entertainment is on the way. Crank up the speakers, don't touch our bakers, give away every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mmm. How is it dirty? Take off the first S, and then you'll see how Twitch sees you. <laughs> Does this path lead to where I need to go? That doesn't. Oh boy. Well, we got a lot of high level stuff here.
Oh god, the horror. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Daddy. The people will thank you. <laughs> There's a new mini coming out soon about the whole Errol Purple Cat identity theft thing. Noxie sent me the draft of it today. I got a little 16 RSL last night for burning out 2 a.m. Nice. There's already been, uh, I think, three people that uh got to level 25 so the they, they've locked in getting the free merch mail to them oh shoot i did not mean to hit that key how long does it take roughly to get to level 25 i know it's hours of gameplay but you know they're basically getting you free merch and also they're paying for the shipping so you're getting like 25 to 30 dollars worth of gift uh for doing it and then, of course, they hope you like the game and keep playing, but, you know, that, that'll be up to you at that point. Shoot. I think I needed to take a left back there. There it is. The secret trail. Huh. Uh, you had me at free undies and mug like branding. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show it for anyone who hasn't seen it. Hang on a second. So th these right here. <laughs> you can choose anyone who hits level 25 before May 14th can choose a hat or the uh, boxers or a tote bag shipped to them. But yeah, it's pretty cool. We've never before done a campaign where we had two sponsors for the same day. So it's basically Stream Elements is sponsoring it and Raid is sponsoring it. So, and we're one of the first streamers on all of Twitch that Stream Elements has tried this on. So it's uh, it's an honor for them to try that out. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this stuff. And let's see, do I have any stuff to offer to the shrines? Yes, I do. Automaton gizmos, okay. Uh, quick heads up on the raid promo code. Soon as you can only use one of the starter codes is the May 2 raid code connected to your promotion. Uh, it does not, the May 2 raid code doesn't help me in any way. It's just meant to give you stuff. Uh, do you like the YouTube shorts that are like TikTok clips that are right there on your YouTube account? I may have spent 10 minutes per day watching them. I don't. I don't. Uh, because I... Okay. Because... So, I don't like making them because they're very poorly monetized. And I can upload the same thing as just a normal video. And it will do way better and I'll, wait, I'll make way more. Um, and I don't like um, watching them because they don't have like the play bar. I can't see how long it is. I can't watch it on times two speed, so I have to, you know, watch it at normal speed, and people talk very slowly, and it drives me crazy. Um, I can't pause it if I need to pause it for a second, or, like, go to a specific frame. So, no, I, I don't like the user... There's a reason I don't watch TikTok. I don't like the user experience at all. This is not my, this is not my jam. Now, if the, you know, short started, like, popping off, I would probably just start uploading my shorts, uh, you know, upload the minis I make also as shorts and not push them to subscribers. That, that's it. So that I, they would only get one ping. But I would just basically reuse the same content. Which honestly is what most content creators do. They'll, they'll make something for Instagram and also use it on TikTok and also use it as a YouTube short, etc.
There is so much fire damage from these things. 